What's up, everybody? It's Jack and Dan. Jack's not here because he's in the shower because we just spent literally the entire day doing yard work. Crazy, out of control, tons of leaves, tons of yard work. And Jack asked me, he said, hey, oh, man, I hope we can have a really cool special dinner. He's kind of been bugging me. And ever since um, he decided to kind of go plant-based some years ago with me, um, he's kind of really missed one of his favorite things, which is Alfredo. Luckily, check this out. Dea has started making it. I found this at Fresh Time. There's only a few bucks. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Dea, which we've talked about in the past, but yes, I do have amazing hair right now. It's yard work hair. <laughs> but they've made a lot of changes in their ingredients, and they kind of started changing some of their ingredients. It has made it a little less healthy. Basically, more coconut oil, more saturated fat, which a lot of plant-based or vegan cheeses have done. So this is not something that we at all recommend doing on a daily basis, maybe once a week or something like that, because there's still a lot of saturated fat. But I thought it'd be really cool to try. Um, what I'm going to make here is, I'm going to make, these are some of his favorites. I'm going to make him the Trader Joe's vegan chicken strips these are in our opinion the absolute best deal out there you get like nine or ten of these in a pack it's only like 2.99 they're amazing and they're fairly healthy actually um they are made of soy you know it's uh non-gmo and all that kind of stuff very good very impressive um and the bread even the breading is whole grain there's uh, four grams of fiber in a serving so 14 carbs, 4 grams of fiber, that's like a 3.5 ratio. That's amazing. Most breaded things like that have a ton of carbs and no fiber at all. In addition, of course, I got the organic broccoli from uh, Costco. Get the huge bags of those. So we're going to have broccoli. We're going to have the chicken tenders. And we're going to have the Dea Alfredo. We're going to try this out. He does not know I'm making this. I told him I was going to make dinner. He's in the shower. He's going to come out. He's going to be surprised. It's going to be awesome. So we got the chicken in the toaster oven. If you haven't seen these little stones, they actually make little stones now for wonderful stuff like this that you can actually fit in the toaster oven. These are amazing. I think Pampered Chef has them or something like that. Anyway, I got that a long time ago, working awesome. So chicken's in the toaster oven. We're going to put about eh, 20, 30 minutes at about 400, make them nice and crispy. Broccoli's in the microwave, but going to wait to make that. It's like one of those steam in the bag type of deals. I'm boiling the water. This is going to be done. So this basically just comes with a big, huge pack. And it's, you know, the cheesy stuff, the Alfredo. It's going to be really cool because we're probably just going to put the chicken right on top of the pasta and, you know, just kind of mix everything in, the broccoli and the chicken and the pasta together. Now, this is not whole grain pasta, um, but, hey, you know, we're having broccoli and everything else with it. As you can see here, there is basically no fiber in here. But the chicken is high in fiber, and the broccoli, of course, is high in fiber. So, again, not something you want to do all the time, but pretty impressive. Um, again, they do have several different flavors, too. They have, you know, cheddar and stuff like that. But I thought this Alfredo would be really neat to try. Um, I think he's going to be very surprised when he gets out of the shower, and I think he's going to love it. Of course, he loves broccoli, and he loves these chicken strips. So this total dinner, even if we eat this entire bag of broccoli... The chicken strips, the daya, and the broccoli uh, would come down to be about $11, which I think is pretty good, $5.50. That's cheaper than it would be to go to a fast food restaurant, and we're getting all this amazing healthy food. So super impressive. Yeah, this is one of these really easy type of direction things, pretty much exactly like any other kind of, uh, you know, um, mac and cheese would be. Here's the other flavors. They have cheddar white cheddar, four cheese with herbs, meatless bacon and cheddar. That might be a good one to try. So the water's boiling. You toss that in there. Stir it up. Then all you got to do is drain it, squeeze the sauce over it, mix it in there. All right, so we got the little cheese pack. Drain it all out. Just going to squeeze this on in here. Mix it up. I think Jack's going to love this, man. Especially with some broccoli, chicken. Mm. All right, guys. Not a huge amount. Just saying, Dea, three or three and a half servings. Jack could probably smash this whole thing himself. Just saying. 
Anyway, smells delicious, tastes fantastic. Yes, I tried it. Very good. Again, most of these plant-based cheeses, the, the way that they taste good is they make them with a ton of coconut oil. So still a lot of saturated fat. This, this, if you were to eat this pot, you would have an entire day's worth of saturated fat, even though it's plant-based. So, you know, just be careful. Again, no cholesterol. Never gonna have cholesterol. Just be careful when you're eating this kind of vegan cheese. We don't have a lot of vegan cheese. Once a week, maybe something like that, or special occasions. Jack helped me in the yard. He was like, I really wanna have an awesome dinner. So he is gonna love this. He's gonna be very surprised and very shocked. Chicken's almost done. He's on his way out over here. Let's see how he digs it. You all cleaned up, buddy? Yeah. Check this out. What's that? Check it out. So Remember how you told me that one of the things you missed a lot after going plant-based was Alfredo? Yeah, I really liked it. Check it out. Oh, Dave makes a cheesy Mac Alfredo now. That's they do. Cool. And you're going to try it out. There you go. I got your uh, Thank you. Trader Joe's chicken, some broccoli. Mix it all in there. I gave you a little more of the Alfredo, but I took the extra piece of chicken. All right, thank you. Because there's nine. You know, we always fight over that one ninth one, but I figured you wouldn't care because the Alfredo. Yeah. Thanks. Doesn't one of the comedians talk about the extra, who gets the the last wing? Is it a Chris Rock or something? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> He's like, Dan okay. always gets the last wing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That made me think of it. All right, let's go try this out, man. Now, of course, our, we're working on some fish tank stuff here, but yeah. that's a whole different video. But anyway... Yeah, it looks amazing. So how does it taste, kiddo? It tastes really good. I mean, is it, does it taste a lot like... It tastes almost better. Yeah. It doesn't taste as, like, salty. Like, it's probably going to sit in my stomach probably a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's plant-based, so... But again, a little bit of saturated fat, really but uh, what an awesome meal. And you're hungry after doing all that yard work, so... Yeah, very impressive. Very impressive. I love it. I am amazed. I can't wait to have all of this together. I think this is a total, total win. This is a total thumbs up for me. What do you think? Yes. If you... Very good. Yeah. If you have not tried these kind of um, plant-based cheeses, they are, they are way better than they used to be. If it's something that you miss or if it's a reason that you feel that you possibly couldn't go plant-based, uh, you can see here that this young man likes it quite a bit, don't yes. you? I do. <laughs> it's amazingly good. And again, the benefits are, you know, just, they just outweigh, you know, the little bit of a taste difference. But for me, I can go without it, but I'm going to definitely enjoy it. And uh, hey, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Like always, we got lots of fun stuff coming up. We're always working on our aquariums or trying to show people some healthier uh, plant-based options and review products that are out there. I think Daya hit the uh, nail on the head. I think this is a great job. Oh, for sure, this is great. Go Daya, getting better every time. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.